and that case was dismissed. That case was dismissed on the 29th of uh, May 2018. The gun was released to our plant, the second accused person. This was a case where private business interests and other state agencies were which hunting our plant for the sole purpose of picking the gun and taking away the gun. That having succeeded, we were given an order to take to the firearms licensing board. The order is dated the 29th of May 2018, where the gun was returned to the accused to one Chris Obure. That gun has been in the safe custody of Chris Obure. The DPP has now approved charge to charge Chris Bore. The CCTV footage that was aired by Citizen TV is very clear that the gun was stolen by his bodyguard. He was nowhere. He was at Kempiski when the alleged murder was done. The CCTV footage captures the bodyguard, the first accused person, taking the gun at, at 6 in the morning very early, returning it at the wee at the night, dusting the gun, wiping the gun, taking a bullet and replacing the bullet that had done the job. And therefore, the DPP and the DCR, within their battles that they are facing, they have decided to charge our plan. We are objecting that under the law, Chris Obure should be a state witness. He should not be an accused person. The evidence that was there was not presented to the DPP. And we, that is why we are saying we want the plea taken to be deferred until the DPP himself is forwarded that step, that recording, because the DCI never forwarded that evidence. Had he forwarded that evidence of the CCTV footage, then Chris could be a state witness. That is why we are objecting that the court has agreed with us that taking a plea drastically changes the status of a person. Chris, the second accused person, is a prominent businessman, a legitimate uh, businessman who pays taxes, who is branch head of the African region where his big company, the mother company, is registered in the U.S. It is business that has gone so. The accused person, the, the, the deceased person, was never a friend. He's never even been to the accused person's crisis house. Neither was he there. Therefore, that is why we are shocking that this is proper raw abuse of state power. The criminal power, Article 157, that mandates the DPP to decide who to charge, should be exercised judiciously, should be exercised with caution in regard to public interest. And let us not have trumped charges being brought against the second accused person. We shall deliberate the matters tomorrow. The court has listened to us and given us and a deferral for those issues to be dealt.